Hey guys! We're gonna hope that this works and that my battery doesn't die because it just started flashing at me, which is so annoying! I don't think I have another one charged. Ugh. <laughs> um, yeah, long time no see. Uh, of course, naturally, you know, it's, it's status quo for me. Um, for anyone who was wondering, my grandma did pass away. Um, it was 12 days. So it was kind of a long haul, <laughs> um, but the uh, we had a really beautiful service for her. We, it was mostly just like family, but we got to meet um, her siblings, which we I like. I don't remember it all because they live like kind of across the country from us. So at least in recent history, I've not ever met them. So that was really cool to get to. Um, meet her siblings and kind of see what she was like from their perspective. Uh, it was a really good um, time of just kind of family and, and being together. So, um, there's another thing <laughs> that I kind of have forgotten to mention slash not brought up because it's just like, I don't know, there's been so much going on and you guys know like this whole, everything's been crazy. 2020 was insane. 2021 does not seem like it's gonna be significantly better. <laughs> um, but there will be one thing better in 2021 and that is a new baby. Yay! Um, so yeah, not only... Am I pregnant again? Uh, I am like major prego here. Yeah. Um, my due date is in two days, so like <laughs> I literally could have a new baby at any moment at this point. Um, ha, whoo, ha, fuck. Like I don't even know if I'll manage to get this video posted before we have a baby. <laughs> um, I. I had kind of a rehearsal this morning and was up for like two hours, two and a half hours with contractions that eventually petered out and didn't go anywhere. So that was frustrating, but we're really close. I'm guessing sometime in the next week. If we go much longer than a week, I'm going to start getting cranky. <laughs> and that's nobody likes cranky. But yeah, like I finally have almost everything done. Everything is done. Except I haven't knit a sweater vest for if it's a boy. I always knit a sweater vest if we have a boy, but like, I've got all my junk over there. Baby bed is set up there. This is just my little makeshift wonky stand to hold the camera on. And I don't know why it's so dark. Like, I have the window open. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's exciting stuff any day, literally any time now. So I'm super excited and that's what's going on here. That's like the big thing. So I promise I'll give you an update before this child is like <laughs> a year old or something. Uh, huh, shit, bananas, hello, woo. Um, so yeah, I've been like cleaning my house like crazy for the last couple weeks. Because we're planning another home birth and like nobody wants to have a baby in a messy house. Nobody, you know, you don't even, you don't want to bring a baby home in a messy house. But like it's hard to keep up with all of the children. And I've built two loft beds in the last couple weeks. And done some other projects. We have a library now, which is super exciting. We decided that we're the type of family who doesn't need a playroom. We need a library. So <laughs> we moved all the toys out of this one like weird room in like the middle of our house that has no um exterior walls like it's right in the middle of the house and so we moved all the toys out of there and <laughs> and we put um bookshelves like all the way around all of the walls and you know screwed them in made sure it's all safe and it's so cool i love being in there our oldest goes in there and just like snuggles up in the armchair and reads all the time and I love it. Like it's the best. So yeah, we, I got the loft beds built for the boys so now we have a boys room and a girls room and those need to be tidied again, of course. But other than that, like I think we're finally ready 
and I'm super excited. So that's what's new with me. Here's to hoping 2021 ends up getting better and being a better year than 2020 for most people. Um, I mean, personal perspective, like, yeah, 2020 had a lot of crumminess to it, um, including my grandma dying and everything, all the drama with COVID and all of that. But, like, compared to 2019 when we were... Okay, had to change batteries. I don't know why it's so dark. I seriously have so many lights on in this room. Oh, um, shit. But, uh, yeah, I had to change batteries. Sorry. Um, but compared to our 2019, like, 2020 was not as horrible for us as it was for a lot of people. Like, yeah. Uh, 2019 was really, really brutal with, uh, basically not even knowing if our infant would, um, survive the first six months of his life. So, that was very challenging, and 2020 in comparison to what we went through in 2019 was not that bad. Like, we stayed home a lot more. But fortunately for us, like, we weren't, we haven't been too affected, so, uh, yeah, I have not been complaining too much about that. But hopefully 2021 is even better, and hopefully I can figure out before my next video why it's so stinking dark. And I will post an update when we have the newest little addition. Yay! So, <laughs> shit. That's all. I will talk to you guys later.